All right, YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make Roblox GUIs uh, completely for free. Now, obviously you use studio tools, but those are very limited if you want to make some uh, appealing UI. Um, if you want to get more creative, you have to use a design tool. So. I know a lot of you guys don't have Photoshop, so here we are. We are using a software, a website called Photopea. Uh, if you head to photopea.com right here, it is free. You don't have to make an account, nothing. It is just right here. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm just going to walk you guys through some basics, the tools you need um, to make UI, and just some basic UI tips. Also, just note, uh, for the next couple of videos, we're going to be... I'm going to be making mostly content for beginners, but in the future, we are going to dive more into detail with more advanced stuff. So, you know, just uh, letting you guys know. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. You wanna hit new projects. Um, right here, set your resolution. I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080. This, this thing's gonna change me. Okay, it's fun. All right, we're just gonna hit create. Okay, so as you can see here, we have an empty canvas. Just to, just to walk you guys through. On the right side, you have your layers. Um, this is the blend mode right here. This is your background layer. If you click on the eye, this will hide the layer. Um, like that. There we have swatches, history. Uh, we have your brush settings, we have your character text settings right here, so you got size, and a lot of other stuff, you got paragraph settings, um, let me just, let me get a gallery thing, anyways, the properties right here, alright, um, let's just start off with some basic stuff, um, I like to start off by making my background darker, so how you could achieve that is, clicking your foreground color, you click on your foreground and you go to a dark gray and you hit OK. And now you're going to hit Alt and Backspace. And this will fill your canvas. And to start making some UI, we're going to hit New Layer. And I think we can just start with a button. So we're going to go to a rectangle tool right here. So if you click and hold, you'll see rectangle, ellipse, line, parametric shape, custom shape. Um, for a button, let's go for ellipse. Okay, for example. Now up here you will see shape, right? So you're gonna to wanna to say on shape, this is going to make a shape for us. Uh, fill, so this will fill the shape with a color of choice, uh, let's go for white. And the stroke is currently off, this is the outline obviously, so we have it on X, like that. So you just wanna go anywhere, um, click and hold, like that. And then we're gonna hold shift and alt. As we drag this out, and you will see, this will create a button for us. Okay, that's cool. And this will also be a new layer. So you, if you double click the name, you could rename it to rename it to button. And to get rid of this blue outline, you can hit Control Shift and X on your keyboard. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna right click. We're gonna head into blending options. And right here, we're gonna start with a gradient overlay, okay? Now, the opacity is gonna be 100, uh, style, linear, angle, 90. Uh, all the default settings, we're just gonna click on the color box. And right here, we're gonna click on the first color. And you can choose any color of your choice. For example, I'm just gonna Go for a nice blue, and as you can see, we have a gradient on the button. Um, now we can add inner glow. Let's turn the size up. Change the color here to white. Now let's change blend mode to overlay. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, we could also add a drop shadow. Blend mode normal. Opacity up, when you click on the box. Click on the blue, and we go for a darker shade of blue, like that. And turn spread all the way 
of size and distance. Make sure the angle is on 90. Bevel and boss, let's see what we have. If you want to do this, you can. All right, we're just gonna hit OK. And now with this button, we're gonna right click, and hit Convert to Smart Objects. For a second, go back into Linear Options, and we're just gonna hit Stroke. And the Stroke, we're gonna go for a black color. Hit OK. And now you can see we have a very nice uh, button. Now we can copy this if we right click and go duplicate layer. This is called as button 2 and move this apart. If you hit control U on your keyboard, we will have hue saturation. You can use this to change the color of your button. As you can see. Just like that. And now you can see we have two very nice buttons. Um, if you want to make a different shape, you can make a new layer. Click and hold, let's go to rectangle, okay, and corner radius. Here you can make a rounded uh, corner, let's go for 10, and here you can see you can do something like this. And uh, the same, and uh, you can use the same techniques, um, but that is the basic gist of how to create uh, GUI for free. This one is just a very basic button. If you want to resize it, you can control Alt and C on your keyboard. And you can hold Alt, drag this down. You can hit Control, Alt and C on your keyboard. You can hold Shift and Alt, drag this down, and you can resize this button. Like that. So yeah, very basic. If you want to export this, uh, just right click and uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. I tried to make this as simple as possible. I don't want to make this uh, video too long, but if you guys enjoy this and want me to continue, um, obviously there are more UI elements we could teach you. So yeah, leave a like, comment down below if this did help you, uh, share this with anybody, share this with people that you know. With that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.